Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to two artsy gals. Woo woo! You guys should actually see it, because I actually cheer with my arms yeah, when I do that. It's pretty, she does. It's pretty awesome. Put your all into it. The dog's looking at us like, why did you shut the door? <laughs> we locked my dog in here in the studio with us, because um, we recorded the last episode, and he was being a barky jerkwad. Yeah, barky barks a lot. I don't know what his deal is lately about that. It's driving me crazy, my, though. Is he getting old? He's getting old, and I think mm-hmm. he's getting some cataracts going on. Mm-hmm. You know, He's going to be nine on Halloween. Yeah. My dog's birthday is on Halloween. Aw. Isn't that awesome? That is very awesome. Lucky dog. He was born on Halloween. Come here. Be a good boy. Now, the cat, I guarantee you, before we get done with this, she'll be meowing from the outside. Like, why is this fucking door closed? My pets don't like closed doors. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Pisses them off. Mine don't either. Yeah. Jerks. They stick their little paws under there and yeah. try to... <clears throat> Yeah. I thought cute. that when my son got old enough that he didn't want to barge in on the bathroom with me, that I wouldn't have to have people in the bathroom with me, but... No, I know. Now I, I have know. to have cats and dogs in the bathroom yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, hey. I'm like, really? Are you going to watch me while I poop? Because <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I don't... And, like, my dog will turn his back. <laughs> like, don't watch me poop. <laughs> That's polite. But he'll come right in the bathroom and be like, what are you doing, Mom? Oh. He puts tennis balls in my lap while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> like since you're sitting down, yeah, maybe you should throw this for me. <laughs> Back off, dude. So let's see. Okay, top of the show announcements. We need to do a little bit of fundraising. Uh, so guys, my computer on its last legs. I'm gonna uh-huh. have to get this. I'm gonna have to get it fixed. Um, at the very least, fixed. I don't think I'm gonna be able to replace it quite yet. But here's the problem: if my computer dies then we don't have a podcast for a while until I can scrape up the funds to repair or replace it. So we kind of need your guys' help with that. So you can do that through PayPal, like our PayPal yeah, donate button so on our easy. website. Lonnie had something that she wanted to say about this. I don't I remember I wanted to say, hey, Katie, baby, we got your money. Don't you worry, Katie. <laughs> baby, we got your money, got your money, Katie. I was singing this. All the way here. Almost. Yeah. Lonnie, you're awesome. (laughs) I'm the biggest dork ever. I love it. (laughs) But this is the deal. We have a donate button on the on the website. Push it. Where you can push it. (laughs) Oh my god, you're killing me. This is the best ever. (laughs) But yeah, this is like the last big piece of equipment that we have not been able to replace. Um I think I actually made you blush, which is you rad. You did. You were making me laugh so hard. He said, push it. It was all dirty. And I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah, we need to raise this, though. I need to be able to replace the the computer because if I don't, then I don't know how long it's going to be until the podcast goes away. Like, like we can come back. I don't want to stop recording. Is it a memory thing? Is it a... It's just a, my computer's almost seven years old. Oh, I, yeah. I had it built when I started college. Yeah. And. I had one of those, yeah. It's kind of just. Mine does die. Well, it's life. And it is a memory issue. Like, there's not enough of it mm-hmm. to do the things that I need to do. Mm-hmm. And it got me through graphic design school, but technology changes pretty quick. Yeah, it does. And now it's starting to get behind and not be able to keep up with the new software for doing things. Yes, and the updates are bogging it down. Yeah, and when it, yeah. what it, what my computer does is when it's overwhelmed, it just shuts off. Mm-hmm. It just goes, boop, fuck it, and we're, I'm done. I do the same thing, Screw so you guys. I totally can <laughs> yeah. relate. I can totally relate. So what I'm afraid <laughs> of is that it's going to shut off and never turn on again, which <laughs> will happen. And I've replaced all the obvious things, like I've replaced the power supply and... But I can't add more memory because 
yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to get into like like you could the technical specs. It's a 32 bit yeah. system, and you can only have a certain amount of memory on a 32 yeah. bit system. So blah blah blah. Anyway, you need some ROM and some RAM and some <laughs> yeah. Also, things. my hard are. drive. <laughs> I only have like five gigs left on my hard drive. Oh, it's really like I'm at the point where I'm deleting shit. Yeah, to try to make space. to try to make space, and your computer just doesn't run optimally mm-hmm. when you have that little memory. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you want to run a cleanup? Well, you're gonna have to make more space. Yeah, you're gonna Sorry have to move some shit around, bitch. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's like shuffling all the stuff on your iPod or mm-hmm. your iPhone. When you're like, what do I want to keep? <laughs> yeah. But, so yeah. anyway, it's just at the end of its life. It really needs to be repaired, and lately, it has been acting up more frequently oh yeah all right duda i thought it was gonna work to keep my dog <laughs> locked in here but it's totally not so just don't bark all yeah. right you just lay down and be a good dog yeah there you go super easy you can do it duda <laughs> <laughs> right so yeah i hate begging for this kind of stuff but right now we don't have sponsors we're hoping to get we sponsors listener but we've got to grow the show and so yeah. right now our listeners have to support us to keep yeah. it going and any bit helps any, any little, little bit, bit helps like yeah. anything like this is a pretty big deal like i'm feeling like within the next month or so like it's been happening frequently enough that i've not been using my computer very often so yeah Aww. it'll be bad news i wish i had it's the money okay, i know i look i took the side off because i was afraid that like a heat was an issue <laughs> so that, that's, that's not it but so yeah i don't know me. i wish i had the money to just go replace it right now myself because yeah. but i don't yeah so mark 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 but today we're going to be talking about things that are way more exciting yeah finally at long last after threatening for over a year i'm doing an episode about wiring LEDs into your artwork, people. So cool. We'll talk a little bit about why, why one would do that. Why? Um, because it's awesome. It is awesome. You know, like, have you ever just said, oh my God, this would look so cool if there was like a little light inside of it. Or, mm-hmm. or even if you want to wire a light in like your frame, like if you have a box frame and you want it lit from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Or anything like that. I always want that. Actually, yeah. I have one that I I have this art piece that I would love to illuminate. All right. Well, I'm going to yeah. tell you guys how to do it on a very... Okay. This is going to be... I'm teaching you how to do a very simple, straightforward LED circuit. Okay. And if she gets too technical, I have the right to go... Meh. Yes. And I've asked her to please do that because yeah. I was up... This is part of the reason I'm so yawny today because I was up really late trying to like... Find a way to explain it that wouldn't be overwhelming. To and summarize, like, four years of technical yeah. college into No, well, I didn't even learn this in college. I taught myself how to do this. Awesome. And I'm going to be making some videos. I'm going to try an experiment because I can't edit video on my computer right now it, because it, it shuts it would, off. It would melt. So <laughs> I'm going to try to edit it on my iPad. And see if I can upload some video that way. Because here's the thing. When I taught myself how to do this, I had to watch a bajillion different videos Mm -hmm. from a bajillion different things and Mm -hmm. kind of piece together my knowledge in a way that fit what I wanted to do with it. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of shit about wiring LED circuits for just weird electronic shit. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing that said how I could wire a switch into it. Yeah. Um, there's all these different, like, I don't know the, and I, it's frustrating, but most of the videos are made by teenage boys. Oh yeah. Or yeah. younger. Cause they want their little robots to light up. Yeah. So, <laughs> and there's, there's just, there's nothing available in the context of building it into your art piece. Yeah. So I'm going to make it that video. Yes. It might be two videos cause there are a couple different things that you want to learn about, but I will put them on our YouTube channel and link them in the blog. Mm-hmm. for this episode and I will take pictures the project that I'm working on right now is I'm going to be completing it as I take the pictures and this is different than I was just at a craft warehouse and admiring those strings of LED lights they make now so this is different which they didn't have this no. is a new thing yeah they're freaking awesome and you could use those, but this is actually showing you how to do it from scratch, like without. Yeah, and this is how you little... do like a one light bulb 
Yeah. One LED yeah, light. Yeah, a whole string. So when I first started wiring light into my artwork. They didn't even have those. No, I was buying the little mini strands of them on like eBay. Yeah. You could get them on eBay. You order them from China for like they were super a special. fucking $3 and free shipping. Yeah. But. They were not uh, in the craft store. They were. And also <laughs> they're a string of lights. Like mm-hmm. then you have to hide all these extra lights mm-hmm. in the back that you don't actually don't need. Waste. Yeah. And then like I was having canvases that were glowing through the paper on the <laughs> their backing on the wall, and I'm like, okay, Which I have to learn. That could be cool, but yeah, that'd be a different yeah. thing. That's and then I asked, I asked a friend of mine who frequently wires lights into some of her assemblages and stuff, and she's like, oh no, you have to like I uh, all my husband can do it for you, and you have to do this and you have to do that. And I'm like, this cannot be that hard. Yeah. I hate not knowing how to do things, mm-hmm. so I just taught myself how to fucking do it. Awesome. And I'm actually going to grab a couple things that I want to show Lonnie while we're talking. So okay. I'm going to lean over here. I have them set out. It probably involves some sort of circuit. Well, yeah, you're wiring a circuit, so I'm just going to get my little... Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to wire a circuit while we're talking, but I'm just going <laughs> to... I want to... I want to... I'm getting visual aids for Lonnie, and I will take pictures... Whoa. Take pictures of these for you guys. Yeah, and post I, them. I took an electrical class a long time ago, but it was more on a house scale. Like, but they tried to teach us about ohms and resistors and all this stuff, and I was just like, derp, completely puzzled by it. Okay, it amazes me. Well, we're getting started now. Okay, this is exciting. Now, remember, what noise are you going to make when I get too technical? <laughs> okay, because I get a little too <laughs> excited about it. First of all, do you know what a LED stands for? A light emitting diode? You do know! Yay! It's a light emitting diode. Um, and a diode is an electronical component with two terminals. And they're adorable. That usually allows a current to flow in one direction. So from positive to negative. Okay. So that's what you need to know. Light okay. emitting diode. Also, it's cool just to be able to say that you know what LED stands yeah. for. Yeah. Because you know, if you're going to be doing this, here's the thing. If you're a lady and you go into a hobby shop or into like Radio Shack, yeah. The geeky dudes are going to be schmarmy and uh-huh. assholey to you. Like, are you sure you like, you don't do know what that? you're talking about. And you go like, yeah, bitch, I work. need this light emitting mm-hmm. diode and this resistor and mm-hmm. fuck you. And this is why. Mm-hmm. This is why I'm telling you guys this shit. I know. Because they will. They will be dicks. Not all like, of them. That won't work. You can't do that. But yeah, I schooled the guy mm-hmm. at Radio Shack up here because he's a big smart ass <laughs> and he thinks he's funny. Yeah. And he was being really snotty to me. And Kurt had to go to the car because I was like, well, actually, and I threw down some knowledge on him yeah. and he didn't know what I was talking about. And he shut up and his face got red Good and Kurt you. had to go out to his fuck car that guy. and laugh because I'm like, fuck you, yeah. bro. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. this is the shit you're going to need to do this. Okay. So we're going to talk tools first. Okay. So you're going to need a soldering iron. Oh, they're cheap. Okay. You can get them. <laughs> You don't know how to, you don't have to know how to solder pretty. They sound so scary. No, they're not scary at all. <clears throat> they're okay. hot. Yeah. But if you use a hot glue gun, you can use a soldering. Iron. Okay, good. So okay. you're going to want a heat proof workspace, like something you can, a surface that if you drip hot solder on, it doesn't matter. Maybe like a big tile or something? Yeah, I use a tile to keep my soldering iron on. I mm-hmm. also have like a, I have one of those cat proof mats that I have destroyed and I no longer use for sewing. Are those I use really for shit like that. that? No, but, okay. it, but I don't care. Okay. If they get stuff on it. So okay. it's no big deal. Um, you're going to need a breadboard and jumpers. Now we'll get more into this in a few minutes, but a breadboard is basically something that allows you to test your circuit before you solder things together oh, yeah. permanently. Okay. I'm going to do a video on how to use your breadboard okay. as part of this. We'll get to more, get to that more in a minute. Okay. You're going to need wire cutters and wire strippers. Okay. Um, I left mine over there. Um, she said strippers. I did say strippers. <laughs> and depending on what you're doing and how you're attaching your 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 power supply, you're going to need possibly a screwdriver, a screw gun, a hot glue or a hammer, whatever. We'll talk about that also in a minute. Um, and you are going to want a third hand. And I did not bring my third hand over here, but it's awesome. Oh, I think I can see it. Yes. Yes. So a third hand, if you don't know what it is, it's this little like robot guy with like roach clip hands. <laughs> It'll hold your so joint cute. while you're doing stuff. Yeah. No. Yep. No, it, <laughs> it holds 
your wires and stuff while you solder them. Oh, okay. So it, in essence, gives you a third and sometimes fourth hand. And then it has a magnifying glass. So that's more for, like, if you're working on circuit boards or something mm -hmm. really tiny, you can use the magnifying glass. I just like it because then it holds my wires in place while I solder them. Yeah, yeah. So it works great. Really And cool. I'll post pictures and I'll post links to everything, but third hands are cheap. Oh, okay. And you will find a million uses for them in your artwork and beading and whatever. Mm -hmm. You can always use a third hand. So, and this is my wire stripper, by the way. I Ooh, love it. Ooh, yeah. It has a little guy that like just grabs it and pulls the plastic off. Perfect. Bam. There mm -hmm. you go. So supplies that you're going to need. And I'm going to make a list. So don't okay. worry. You don't have to be taking notes. You can just listen to this and then you can go to the website later and go, okay. So for supplies, you need... LED bulbs in the color of your choice. I am using purple ones and blue ones for this project that I'm working Where on. Where did you get those? I order mine from Amazon oh. in bulk. Okay. Now you can also go to Radio Shack mm -hmm. or Hobby Shops. And talk to the douchebag. And talk to the douchebag and get your <laughs> LEDs there. Um, um, wasn't there, do you remember, a, okay, there was a really cool store in Northwest Portland that my roommates used to go to that had all kinds of these things. I can't remember the name of it. I can't either. It was a funny kind of name. I miss... I'm going to ask Alicia okay. because my friend Sorry, Alicia and will I know. Sorry, and I totally sidebarred. Sorry. Actually, I'll text her right now. So It was a Portland thing anyway. So this is an LED. They're so cool looking. That they are. They look like little robots. I'm mm -hmm. going to leave one out so I can show you things. Hold on. And there was a store somewhere. I think it was Northwest. It's in Northeast. Northeast. So you're going to need your LEDs. You're also, why didn't I, why am I not bringing everything with me? I know. Do, 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 <laughs> Katie's getting stuck. And I grabbed the wrong thing. And she grabbed the wrong thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> we rock the Jeopardy. So you're going to need 20 or 22 gauge wire, which is okay. very tiny. It's little. Mm -hmm. It's little. And, um, yeah, you can get it in your electronics department of and whatever. It looks like you have a black and a red. I have a black and a red because I like to wire red for positive, black for negative, just okay. to keep track of things. So Some people use white or... White's, I don't know. White's usually for a ground, white or green, but oh. we don't run a ground on this. So, okay. Because we're running it battery powered. Awesome. I don't do things that you plug into the wall because yeah. I feel like that's more dangerous and I don't want to be responsible for like if I do something fucked up and burn someone's house down. Yeah. You're going to need the wire. Uh, you're going to need, let me see, solder. Um, you can use lead free or, free or regular. Okay. I just use the regular. I kind of don't oh feel God, like lead free. Lead. I don't feel like it sticks as well. Okay. They also make a, <laughs> uh, an electrical conducting probably true. glue. Oh. Uh, but I've never tried it. I don't know how quickly it dries. I, so I, I would, I would look into it, but. Yeah, if you're afraid of the soldering iron, mm -hmm. maybe you could Don't try that. Don't be afraid of the soldering iron. <laughs> Seriously, you guys. You can be so scared if you want to. You're going to need a power source. <laughs> I am using a 9-volt battery for this cool. because they're easy and you can buy... And you can test those by sticking them on your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. It hurts, guys. <laughs> okay. um, and then a battery connector. Oh, that's... You can buy little battery snaps okay. for your... You can also buy battery holders um, depending on what power source you want to use. Okay. So. You don't have to use a 9-volt battery. It's just kind of easier. Yeah. Uh, you can use you can any battery right you want. Okay. Sometimes you want a bigger battery than 9 volts. It depends on how many LEDs you're running. So you can probably get a, like a D battery holder yeah. that you can Yeah, you can buy attach. battery holders. Also, one of the places I like to buy stuff like that is American Science and Surplus. Oh, okay. Some awesome. Uh, Surplus gib Gizmos and Cornelius Pass is what I was thinking of. Oh, so it's not the one. Oh, Okay. Yeah, I think this place that I'm thinking of might be out of existence. Um, but... I think that you're thinking of, God damn it, I used to yeah, go there all it was the time. A it was like, there's store. a weird junk store. Had yeah. Like, uh, you could dig through it and get everything. Yeah. And what was it called? I don't I remember. But you're right. And it is gone. It closed, which I was really sad about. I feel like it was somebody's name, like Crazy Bob's or something weird yeah, like that. Yeah, or Loco something. Yeah. But why? Yeah. But anyway, you're going to need your battery. Uh, your power source, your battery, and your and your uh, snap. So, you know, you get a little snap that snaps on there. I'm pr posting pictures of these. Um, you're going to need a switch. Um, I just dumped out my switch. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'll find it. But anyway, I've got another one here. So we it's won't worry about It's a little that. tiny switch. Yeah, it's a little switch you can use. Um, I found a slide switch. Oh, You nice. can use a toggle switch. You can use a rocker switch. Whatever kind of switch. 
thing that is important, and this is what you're going to need to know. Mm -hmm. You need a single pull, single throw switch. That will be abbreviated uh, SPST. Okay. That is just an on-off switch. If you get into single pull, double throw, uh, it's... You can you don't want that because it can be wired to like you can have two different circuits wired to it at once. You can like switch between lights Ooh. or whatever. But you want just a single pull, single throw. Now, for a single light or for a, for a single thread for a single circuit. Circuit. So okay. that's what you okay. want. So, um, and that's all we're doing is just a, a circuit. Here's the thing: it's way easier to find toggle switches that are single pull, single throw for some reason than it is to find slide switches. I had to look. I ended up getting these slide switches at Radio Shack. It took for fucking ever to find them. It's insane, and I don't like to go to Radio Shack, but that's a whole different story. Because <laughs> that guy there pisses me off. Because the douchebag ruins everything. Yes, he makes <laughs> me mad. But anyway, so you have your switch. Let me see. I have more notes for this episode than I normally do because I don't want to lose track of anything. And you're going to need resistors, which are very, very important. I should get some resistors out. Why am I so not having everything? <laughs> I thought there was not. some in this container right here. No. Oh, no. Are... Those are, okay. Those are different. Those are staples. Or yeah. She's got all kinds of little things, little those gadgety things. Staples. I'll show you what they are in a minute. But they're jumpers. So these are resistors, Lonnie, and... So you're yeah. going to need these. They're pretty. They look like a bead. With They do, with a wire going wires. through it. So yeah. here's the thing. We're going to talk more about resistors in a few minutes. Um, and you're going to need heat shrink tube, which is just, it's just a little tubing that you put over your wires, your solders and your wires, and oh, then you hit it with a heat it. gun. Basically, it just keeps your shit from shorting out. Because yeah. you don't want your wires Insulating touching it. each other. So it's insulation. Mm -hmm. it, it's how you wire a safe circuit. Okay. So now we have everything. And again, I'm going to make this list with pictures of stuff on the blog. Okay. So you can go there and you can see it. We're going to talk about resistors and why we need them. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. Get ready to buzz me <laughs> if, you, if I need to. Basically, an LED has a limited amount of voltage that it can carry across yes. it. So most LEDs are around 3 volts. Okay. 3, give or take. A little bit. These are 3.8, I think. The change, the voltage changes um, according to the color, but most oh, of them okay. are right around the same, within the same window. But if I'm running a three volt LED and I'm pulling nine volts from the battery across the circuit, that I'm thing. gonna blow out my little yeah. bulb. It's gonna be like, nope. How am I gonna keep from doing that shit? Yeah. I'm gonna use a resistor. That's right. Slow it That's down. That's why you need a resistor. Or turn it down. It, yeah, it's just basically a little buffer. Mm -hmm. It absorbs some of the, the current going through. Kind of like a little sponge or a, yeah. or a dam. It kind of slows things down. Yeah, and this is another way we make safe circuits. So we're not going to start a fire. It's just yeah. not going to blow up. You're not going to blow out your bulb. Because these bulbs last for fucking ever. And yeah. I, I, guess I, I guess I should backpedal a little bit because I was going to say part of the reason that we would choose to use LEDs in our in our artwork is because low, they last a really, really long time. Low they're voltage. low voltage. Mm -hmm. Um they're very safe. They're super easy to work with. And also they're they don't they're not a heat source. Yes. Yeah. They don't they're so low voltage that they don't heat up. They're so cool. So I, you can feel safe about putting cool. in cool. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. literally cool. Yeah. Lonnie just made the funniest <laughs> dork face when she said that. It was great. <laughs> Here's where we're going to get a little bit technical. Okay. Mur, 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 mur. And I'm telling you this because now, hold on. There's okay. math. Oh, God. There's math, people. Like three minus six? No. like Or, I mean, like, six minus three? Like algebra. Nine minus three? Oh. But algebra. don't worry about it. Okay. I taught myself how to do this shit. Okay. And I flunked general math all four years of high school. Okay. Actually, I flunked general math all four years of high school because oh, I did not go to I class. So, I even did summer school and still. Oh, but I got damn. A's in algebra in college. Yeah. I broke out in hives and hired a tutor oh, and cried every day. But, but I got, got A's in my math classes in college. Awesome. But here's the thing. You don't have to be fucking scared of math. Okay. I'm going to break this down for you. they even have calculators that they can They do have calculators. Even your, maybe use even the one. one on your phone. Yes, right? I use it. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We're going to talk about Ohm's Law and resistance. Holy shit. I okay. might have to be merping. I'm going to, I worked really hard to make this 
uh, presentable. Okay. And in a way that like well, the layman you. can understand. Thank you. Thank you to dummies.com actually, because I found <laughs> a way to explain it because I just had this like a big explanation in my brain mm-hmm. and I was getting all like fucking pinky in the brain about it and Smoke shit. Smoke coming out of your ears. Because I like to envision myself as an evil genius, even though I'm really not, but. Oh, come on. I like to, I sing the pinky in the brain theme song when I do any wiring just because part of you is an evil genius. And, and yes. Awesome. Resistors come in levels of resistance called ohms. Mm-hmm. So, um. ohm. and if you don't ever get that meme that's going around the internet, where internet where it talks about resistance, and then it has like these little guys going ohm. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, <laughs> and it makes me giggle every time I see it. Yes. Um, here's the thing: you need to be able to figure out how much resistance you need. Yeah. Because if you have too little resistance, you're still going to blow out your bulb, mm-hmm. and if you have too much resistance, your bulb is going to be dim. dim or it's just not going to work. Mm-hmm. It's not going to get enough power to it. Okay. We use Ohm's law to figure this out. And I'm going to tell you Ohm's law in a dumbed down version. Not okay. that and I think any of you need things dumbed down, but uh, the term Ohm's law refers to one of the fundamental relationships found in electronic circuits that for given resistance current is directly proportional to the voltage. In other words, if you increase the voltage through a circuit whose resistance is fixed, the current goes up. If you decrease the voltage, the current goes down. I'm going to link the article on this okay. so you guys can read more about it. Okay. I just want you to know what Ohm's law is and what it means because I want you to be able to say that you're using Ohm's formula to figure this shit out. Okay. And I want you to understand how it works. There's a whole, I'm going to post a really good article on dummies.com. Okay. Free. So it's not just as simple as like, I have a nine volt battery and a three volt thing. I need to take out six volts. Six, you know, It is not... that simple, okay. but we just have a mathematical formula that tells us how to do it. Okay. Cause so, you might have a bunch of lights or you might have, yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Sorry. So here's how we're going to calculate our resistance using this formula. So the formula is R, which is resistance equals your V1, which will be the power from your battery. Mm-hmm. Minus V2, which is the voltage that your LED is, mm-hmm. divided by I. And I is the current that runs through the LED in amps or amperes. Oh, yes. You gotta, yeah. Okay. I know Get this is starting to there. sound freaky, but it's not. So we're going to do this step at a time. So most LED packages come... If you buy them in a package at Radio Shack, they will have the voltage for the LED written on the package Mm -hmm. as well as the milliamps. It'll be in milliamps. So that abbreviation will be a lowercase m and an uppercase a. Okay. Those are the two numbers you need. Tiny compared to amps in your house circuit, which are big amps. Okay. You're going to want these two numbers off the package. But if you don't order them in a package or you don't buy them at like... Radio Shack in a package, yeah, yeah. and you order them in bulk, mm-hmm. like I do, you're not going to have that information. So I'm going to put up a chart because all of the voltage voltage is based on color because you need a certain amount of volts. Okay. Like each color needs a special amount of volts for to do its thing. Okay. But I'm going to post a chart because I have a color chart that tells you what how many volts each color of LED is. Okay. So it goes down the rainbow. Now, here's the good thing to know that you need to know. Almost universally, unless you're running ultraviolet LEDs, which you have no reason to be, the uh, milliamps are all 20. So oh. it's a standard number. Okay. And, I'll, okay, I'll get to that in a second. Because you need to figure out amps from milliamps. Mm-hmm. So just know that 20 is 0.02 amps. 20 milliamps is 0.02 amps. That's all you need to remember. Okay. That's the number you're going to divide everything by is 0.02. For the project I'm working on, I'm using a 9-volt battery, and my LED is 3.8 volts. So the first step of this equation is to subtract 3.8 from 9, Mm -hmm. which gives us 5.2. Okay. And then we're going to divide 5.2 by 0.2 because we have 0.2 amps. Mm -hmm. And that gives me 260. So I know that I need a 260 ohm resistor. Awesome. Easy as that, you guys. Okay. 
I'll write the the, the formula yeah, will is, be yeah. on the thing. It's no big deal. And you can totally use, use your a calculator. calculator. You don't have to do it in your head. I always use a calculator. Yeah. So here's the thing about resistors that I'm going to tell you. I bought this god awful nightmarish string of resistors from American Science and Surplus. Mm-hmm. Resistors. When you look at them, there are these little series of colored stripes painted mm-hmm. on them. And it's a code, isn't it? And it's a code that tells you... If you twirled that, it'd look like a DNA thing. It would. I'll twirl it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a helix, a double helix. That's what it is. Here's what I'm going to tell you about trying to figure out, buying these in bulk and trying to figure out what... What owns Owns they are by the fucking color codes. Yeah. Don't fucking do it. Okay. Don't waste your time. These get used in fucking art pieces because you can't fucking figure it out. You can't? They're so tiny. Oh, and yeah. you the colors, the colors are, are so, so close. close to each yeah. other that you're like, is that red or is it is orange? Is it burgundy? Because these so, are like red, burgundy, black. Yeah. What? Yeah. So fuck it. Yeah. Buy them. Wait, I have a package. Here's a, hundred, a package of 150 ohm. I got them at Radio Shack. Okay. Or you can buy them online. Whatever. They come in all different. Like, you can get them from 10 to 500. So, whatever. You got your things. Do they come in, like, increments of 10 or... or... I don't know. It seems pretty random. Yeah. But the thing is, just write down how much you need. Go to Radio Shack. You can also use, like... I have... I don't have a 260 ohm one. So, I'll probably use a 150... A 100 and a 10. Oh, okay. You can use them together to add them up. You can also just go in. The thing I'm saying, when you make your list of supplies, already know how many ohms you need. Mm-hmm. And then just go buy them. Yeah. Buy what you need. Now. I wonder if they come in big variety packs where you have That's what like, this came out of. Okay. was a huge variety okay, of packs. Yeah. So, so also. All kinds of numbers. Here's options. the thing. Oh, sorry. Now, <laughs> if you want to use more than one LED. Mm-hmm. You would just add, so your add your the second voltage. You would add the voltages to those. Okay. So then you're so pulling. You, it would be like six something, mm-hmm. six point four or whatever. Then you would subtract the total voltage from the voltage of your power source. Okay. So you can do more than one in the circuit. Okay. There's that. So now only we, up to nine volts. Yeah, or unless you use a bigger battery battery supply. So there we go. That was the hard part. Mm -hmm. The math part. It's Mm -hmm. not hard. Mm -mm. Nothing to be scared of. No. You're good. You can figure it out. You're great. Wiring your LED circuit. This is the fun shit. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is take measurements on how long you need your wires, Mm -hmm. figure out where you want it placed and how you're going to run it through the back of your work. So you're going to plan your circuit. Mm -hmm. So you'll draw, okay, I know I need to wire this long to get to where I'm putting the light. Mm -hmm. I got to put the resistor somewhere between there. And this is the order that it's going in. You'll start with your power supply. Mm -hmm. You'll hook up your little adapter, you know, Mm -hmm. your your snap or your holder. Mm -hmm. So you're going to run the the hot or the positive from the positive side of your holder to the switch. Mm -hmm. And you're going to run it up. The circuit. Okay. It's going to go power supply and switch Mm -hmm. to your resistor. Okay. Resistor to the positive side of your LED. Now, this is important because, remember, a diode only runs in one direction on Mm -hmm. the circuit. So, if you put it in backwards, it won't work. But you're going to see one side of the LED is longer than the Ah, other because it's this little bulb with these little metal bits hanging out. Now, the positive side is the anode side. The negative side is the cathode side. I'm throwing things around again. Just know that the long side is positive. So you're always going to hook your positive wire, the red wire, up to the positive side. You're going to solder that together. Okay. Now, here's a tip. Have your heat shrink tubing already on the wire. Because after you solder mm-hmm. it, you can't get it on there. So just yeah. set it on the wire, then you slide it up and heat, you know, just hit mm-hmm. it with a heat gun. And then it's going to go from the negative side. You're going to hook up the black wire on the negative mm-hmm. side and you're going to go around to the negative side of the switch. And you're going to hook up the negative side of the battery attacher to the negative side of the switch too. Okay. 
So you're going to draw that. And you don't need any resistors in that direction because that's nope. just... You only need the resistance between the hot side or the positive mm -hmm. side and the bulb. Because okay. that's going to absorb the yeah. extra voltage before it goes through. Yeah. Here, I want to back up a little bit. I already know I already told you how you're to put your circuit together. But before you start soldering it, we're just on the diagram side right mm -hmm. now. So we've diagrammed where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. I will show you my diagram for the piece of artwork that I'm working on right now. And then that's where the breadboard comes in. Ah. You have your, your diagram all figured out. And the breadboard has, you can use wire too mm -hmm. when you're doing this. But I like to use the little jumpers. So these little guys that look like little staples with plastic on them. Mm -hmm. You just kind of put them. This is how you're connecting the circuits. Oh, okay. So you're just making the circuit without soldering it on the breadboard. Okay. I'm going to make a video, again, of how to use the breadboard, because uh, there's a hot side, a positive side, and a negative side to the breadboard, too. So you're you're going to just put it all together as if it were soldered. Okay. Just to test it, mm -hmm. to make sure that your bulb works, to make sure your battery works, mm -hmm. to make sure that the direction that you have everything going is correct. Mm -hmm. And then... That way, you don't have to take shit apart if it's not working when you yeah. soldered it. Okay. Like, yeah. It's you a way to check you want to test you... it before you make. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that measure twice, cut once thing, yes. but for electronics, you're yeah. you're just testing to make sure that you have done everything correctly mm -hmm. before you put it together permanently. Okay, that totally makes so, sense. Because then you don't have to go around cutting shit apart and being all yeah. like that. And then oftentimes you've got it in your artwork. You're going to have to yeah. screw shit up to get it out. Oh, yeah. No. You don't want to do that. So no. uh, I'm going to do just a special video on the breadboard. Cool. Just to show you guys how to use it. Because I actually had a hard time finding one of those, too. Mm-hmm. And they'll all be, I'm going to link them all on the website and I'm going to put them, they'll be on our YouTube That's channel. It's a lot of work. So. Thanks. No worries, man. <laughs> I like you guys. Thanks. So once you're sure that it works and everything, then you're going to just solder it together and you're going to figure out how you want it hidden in behind. What I do is I usually make a little box for my power supply out of mm -hmm. balsa wood or cardboard mm -hmm. and I glue it in. If I'm using a canvas, I glue it into the back, the inset there of the yeah. canvas. And then I put paper on the back and then just cut, you know, cut out a hole where I put the box for the power supply and make a little door for it. Cool. Right on there. So you can mm -hmm. change the battery, have access to it. And then all the wires covered up with the paper that you, you would back a canvas with normally. Mm -hmm. So. And then the switch would be on the side. The switch or? would be on the lid of the <clears throat> little box that you oh, made. Yeah, or okay. you can drill a hole and wire it to the side of the artwork. Or even the front if you want it or, to come Yeah, through. wherever you want it. It depends on the mm -hmm. kind of switch you use. Those are those are decisions that are going to be up to the artist. Like mm -hmm. that's your creativity that's going to figure out how you're going to get that stuff put together. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You can do it, yeah, however, as long yeah. as the circuit's right. Do you have any questions? Surprisingly not. Okay. Did I do okay with that? I didn't yeah. get too technical and crazy. No, I didn't have to meep you once. You didn't have to meep me. Fucking A. That's because I, I, I tested this out of my mom last night. Ah. She meeped me a bunch. Yeah. The breadboard is a little confusing to me, but it's nice to know that you're going to make a video because I, I see all these things and I don't know how they relate to the resistors and the wires and well, the, you know. Well, here... So basically, you're going to put a resistor. Oh, out. so you just use the ones that you... Yeah. Have. Okay. Say, like, what did I do with my battery snapper? I don't know. I Here it is. It. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to just put it together like you would. Like, here's this. Oh, okay. You see, you poke the little holes. I know you guys can't see this, but again, I'm making a It's a, a cool video. little board with holes. It's a little plastic board with a bunch of holes in it. So and she knows where to poke them. Yeah, the wire <laughs> goes in from this side, and then you're going to use the jumper instead of wire. So you're going to oh. go from here to here, and then you poke the resistor in, into, into its circuit, and mm -hmm. then you're just making the circuit. It's like the board is serving as the solder. You're poking stuff in the holes. Mm-hmm. Instead of soldering it together. Okay. So it's making the connection for you. So actually, one time, it's funny. Now, you should know this. If you touch wires together while you're doing this on accident, it's going to make a snap. Ooh. It's not going to fucking electrocute you. It's not going to burn volt you. Snap. It's a 9-volt battery. But mm -hmm. it is going to scare the shit out of you and make you squeal. And if your husband hears you do it, he will so laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. He'll laugh at you and then he'll mimic the squeal that you made for <laughs> days. 
on end. It'll be awful. So don't do that, you guys. Don't do what I did. Now we're, I want to talk about some cool ways that you can, like, yeah, art projects that you can do. Like, I'm going to, I think on our Pinterest board for this episode, I put um, the first piece of artwork that I ever wired an LED light into, I made for my friend Alicia. It's called Immaculate Incubation. And I made a light up egg. Like, Aww. there's a, here, I'll find the picture. It sounds so cute. Well, it's got a skeleton, skeleton in it too. So. Oh, now it's so scary. it's not cute, but <laughs> no, it is cute though. But you know, like right now, I'm working on uh, light up skeleton mermaids. Yeah, that's right. So it's a little bit hard to explain. But... And I've seen some where you do; they look like lamp lights. Yeah, uh, like street lamps. Yes, street lamps and stuff like that. Um, and I put a bunch and of really cool... This would apply to also dollhouse type lights yes. and stuff? Yes. Okay. If you're making dollhouses, if because you're I've making... Because I've seen these cute jars where they put the little dollhouse uh, lantern or lamp yeah. in there and then light it up. Yeah. This is exactly what people who do miniatures, like dollhouse stuff, like okay. this is the kind of stuff that they're doing. Okay. This is just a simple circuit. So you might, you, so you could also find instructions for how to wire your dollhouse that yes. would be similar And actually to that's how to wire part of how artwork. I learned how to do this was okay. tutorials for dollhouses. Cool. Also, I found one here. I'll show Lonnie the. I always um, wanted a light up dollhouse. Oh my gosh. This is Immaculate Incubation. Aww. With the glowing egg. That's so awesome. It's like a skeleton. Wow. Holding the glowy egg that yeah. I sculpted. But, um, Beautiful. It's also, really cool. Also, I found these really fucking amazing, like, backlit paper sculptures when I was researching stuff. And now my brain is like, whoa, clearly there is a lot more stuff that I need to wire holy, light into. I yeah. know. See, Lonnie's like, holy shit, balls. Like, this big canvas you could probably use those strings yeah that you get at the craft store yeah, and here's and the thing if you're gonna do like there. a bunch of lights like mm -hmm. like a starry sky or something like that these flowers are pretty i know use a pre-made strand by all means that gives me goosebumps i know there's I know. a backlit like it, diorama or something it's a paper sculpture oh, it's holy like crap yeah that's gorgeous it's making my heart flutter oh my gosh it, it oh, yeah i was looking for that I love things that light up so oh, much. Oh, my God. I love light up things, too. I think we talked about this in our illuminating. Oh like our swoon. I know, right? Who I'm going to have to look at these later. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay. Beautiful. So, and even if you're doing, like, Halloween's coming up, you could make a cool so centerpiece and, like, wire a crazy Star? light. Hello? Um, Death Star. G Hello. What? Disney's going to sue. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Disney can suck it. <laughs> The rocket, super cute. Yeah, all these things I've always admired and have thought, oh, no, I can't do that. That's what, okay, I never think that about myself. <laughs> I know, I know. I you know, it's really funny. We were camping over um, Labor Day weekend and my mm -hmm. mother-in-law, uh, my husband's aunt had said something about how she asked me about these really cool dragon rock, dragonfly rocks that she'd found for gardening. And uh, she asked if I could figure out how to do them. And then... My mother-in-law was sitting between us and she goes, you're always pretty successful at the things you try. And I laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> I'm totally not successful at all the things I try. I just don't fucking show people the shit that goes south. No, yeah, that totally makes because sense. Because I don't want to show people my, my mistakes. I've actually, honestly, I've thought about trying this like years and years ago. And I, I hit a block and then I... I didn't continue, but uh, yeah, I've always dreamed of li having light lit, it's illuminated so easy. art. It really yeah. is easy. Yeah. It's easy to do. It's easy to plan your circuit. Like, cause we're talking simple circuits. We're not yeah. using circuit boards. Mm -hmm. We're not getting into like components and like. It doesn't have to flash and make no, certain patterns. No, it doesn't have to and, do that. Yeah. Like if you just want to have a pretty lit up thing mm -hmm. in your artwork. And that's safe because the LEDs are cool. Nice and cool. Yeah. And, and like I said, if you're using shrink wrap and all that, it's not going to catch anything on fire. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's easy to do. It's cool. And it's super safe. And it's, yeah, it's not, when you look at shit like that and go, like, it's a lesson to just do some research search and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like for years, I thought, oh my God, I would love to be able to do that. I would love mm -hmm. to be able to have some light in my artwork. 
And it actually took someone telling me that I couldn't do it myself to piss me off. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah. go, why the Watch fuck me. can't I do it myself? I don't need a boy to do it for me. Fuck off. Yeah. And then I figured it out. Yep. And I taught myself how to do it. Yep. And that was that. Because you knew it was possible. you have seen yeah. it done. It's not rocket science. No. It's science. There are lady but, electricians. There are lady yep. electronics people. Like There's ladies that are good at math. We're being feminist right now. Yeah. We totally are. Power to the ladies. Dude, figure this shit out. And that goes for anything. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying Yeah. To- no, it's true. I, I do that, too, though. I'm like, I get determined. If I mm-hmm. really want to do something, I will figure it out. Yeah. Don't Especially if someone tells way. me that I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, and I'm I like, know. um, yeah. fucking I watch know. me, bitches. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Yeah. My new thing that I want to try to figure out is, um, and I will do an episode on it someday when I figure it out. Now I'm going to try to learn how to do fiber optics lighting in artwork. So So you can do like little tiny pinhole starry skies or stuff like that. Like I don't know how to do that yet. Gosh, I was daydreaming. I saw this thing. This guy does houses with fiber optics. So Working. Amazing. Have you seen the ceiling like that some guy did for system. his daughter? His like daughter's stars. room. He made yes. little stars in her room. I was like, I was shut like, the fuck up. And that was one of those things where I was like, I can do that. Yeah. I want to do that. But then you I totally was like, can. oh, okay, there is a lot to it, and I don't have time right I now. I don't think there's as much to it as we think there is. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. But I just, I guess, obviously, it wasn't enough of a priority for me, or no. I would have fucking done it. Well, see, here's the thing. Someday. But it's really cool. Someday, my husband and I will own our own home. Mm-hmm. And when we do, it's going to be like a mad scientist up in here, because mm-hmm. my husband is probably going to walk home, come home from work every day, going, what in the fuck is she doing now? Because I plan on having some cool ass shit in my house. Yeah. When yeah. I can make permanent changes to my house. Yeah. My dad was the first person to show. My dad was an electrician, but on a big, big, big scale. Um, and so he brought home some fiber optic cable one time. And he's like, check this out. And he stuck his flashlight on one end. And then the, it was all lit up on the other. And, you're and like, I was just what? like, magic. This is rad. I was like, these tubes conduct light. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> like, whoa. And yeah, I was amazed ever my, since. My aunt and uncle had... Uh, my Aunt Carol has, when I was a kid, I would go up there and stay summers at their house. And in their house, she has like these, the, you know, the fiber optic flowers that like spin around <laughs> yes. in the glass case. Yes. She had like a few of those. And then she had the like the fountain thing. Mm-hmm. I was fucking mesmerized Me by those when I was a kid. They're, like These Me are too. fucking magic yes. in a box. Yes. I and need can, to have one. And you touch them and they're all like, oh my God. Yeah. Love, so, I love fiber optics so much. I do too. I'm going mm-hmm. to learn how to do it. Yeah. I must. It is simple like this. I it mean, is very you will simple. be like, I'm like oh, you're wiring like a, a simple bundle. circuit, I'm sure. Yeah, it just needs a light source behind yeah, it. And probably an LED light, probably something yes, like, I don't know. Yes. Because back then they were, um, I, I can't find bulbs for the old school. Because I have one, I got one from my grandma's house, the old flower thing yeah. that spins and. My daughter was obsessed with it, but the bulb was dead, and I don't know how to replace it. Still, I, hmm. I was like, dang, like I, so I'm sure newer ones would have some kind of LED, yeah, even probably color changing LED if totally. you wanted. Oh, so cool. Oh my god, now I'm all daydreamy and oh, stuff. Oh, I love it. I can't stop it. it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions. You can email questions to two rcgals at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. I will answer them in the best way that I possibly can. Mm-hmm. Again, know that this is going to be a pretty picture and video heavy blog post mm-hmm. for this episode. So go to two rcgals.com, check out the post for this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have videos explaining everything. It's going to be rad. Mm-hmm. You can do it. You can. It's easy. I mean, this just reminded me how much I've been wanting to do this, but I just haven't given, I just haven't given myself the time to yeah. just do it. Like, don't doubt yourself. Cause it wouldn't be pretty obvious to have a huge lit up canvas in your living room yeah. or something. Oh, totally. Sweet mood lighting. Right? Yeah. Okay. So also, <clears throat> you can call us. Oh, yes. And that number is 503-395-7190. 
leave us a message. We'll play your question or your comment mm-hmm. on the show for people and answer it the best way we can. And always appreciate a good song. Yeah. Follow us on all of our social medias. Yep. Uh, Instagram, Twitter. I wonder if we've given away our awesome I don't know. art piece If yet. we have reached 200... We've already given it away. If we've reached 200 likes on the Facebook. Mm-hmm. If we have not, like us so you can get your awesome go to last week's episode mm-hmm. and check out the cool prize that you're going to, we're yep. going to do a drawing for that Lonnie and I worked together and made. Mm-hmm. It's going to be super rad. And I keep forgetting to say, subscribe to us on iTunes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to us on iTunes <laughs> and the Twitter. Or I mean, iTunes and Stitcher. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm Stitcher. totally brain fried. Yeah. iTunes and Stitcher. Give us awesome feedback. Oh my God. I will read it next week. We got another feedback on there oh, from yay. someone. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I'll read it next week because I keep forgetting to pull it up before we record. Okay. And I don't want to fuck around trying to find it right now because it'll take me forever. Okay. But, and I'm fucking so hungry I could lean across this table <laughs> and eat Lonnie's face right off of her skull. So we got to go. Yeah. But next week, what the fuck are we talking about next week? Oh, Is- yeah. So next next week will be the first week in October. Ooh. And we are starting our entire month of Ooh. shows dedicated to Halloween. Yay! So, and we're <laughs> starting the month off with a, doing an interview with my friend Lisa Volrath um, about costume yeah. design. Uh, and we're also going to talk about the cool shit that she has going on at Ten Two Studios uh, for Halloween crafts and stuff. Love. And so you guys can buy some cool collage I've been sheets obsessing and stuff on that stuff yeah. lately. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. But we're going to learn all about costume design next week though. So you can design <gasps> a best. badass fucking Halloween costume yeah. for yourself and go out and scare the shit out of some peeps. Do that. And win some prizes for Halloween con- yeah. costume contests. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be rad. My husband won a costume once, a contest once for a costume I made for him. Aww. It was the year I made him the Tinky Winky costume. That's adorable. And he won a prize at the E room. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, until next week, go make some cool shit, yo. Do it now.